sign up flow. Now that you know how to engage with the customer, you need to sign the customer up. The sign up process is very easy and self-explanatory, so most customers can do it by themselves. But it's always better to walk them through the process. That way you can make sure they fill out everything in and get connected. And of course, you get paid, so let's go. As we discussed, the most important thing you need to sell is your website. Each website has a unique address attached to you, so every person you sign up through this website is tagged to your name. This is even if they start the process and don't finish it. So the first step in signing up a customer is sending them your link. Once they have the link, as we discussed in the last video, you or they will need two things, their utility login information and a payment method. We need the utility information to tell the utility where to send the credit. And we need the payment information because going forward, they are going to pay, be paying common energy, a lower amount for their electricity. And common energy is going to pay the utility on their behalf. So send them the link and then you initiate the sign up by clicking either sign up or check availability. Once a customer clicks check availability, this is the next screen they'll see. They enter their zip code and select their utility. If there's only one utility in the area that will be recognized automatically. If there's more than one, they need to choose. Then we get their name and email address and click next. Once the customer clicks next, this will check our system for any available projects. And if we have one, that will be displayed here. This page has a couple of great features that will help close the deal for you. At the top of the page, the customer will see the project that they will be connected to. Below that, a bar that measures how full the project is. This is great to draw a sense of urgency for the customer so that if they have some reluctance, like I want to think about it, or I want to talk to my wife, I want to do some more research, you can show them that the project is filling up fast, so we should get you on as quickly as possible. And if there's any other questions or concerns, then to reach out to you as the rep. Finally, there are the key benefits of the agreement, which state that the customer will save and that they will lower pollution in their community. So the customer clicks, let's do this, and moves on to the next screen. Once they click, let's do this, it then takes them to the account access pages. This is where we begin connecting their utility account. Now, the easiest and most direct way to get enrolled is what we call method one, which is having the customer enter their login details from their utility. Here they would click yes to the question of, do you have an online account with your electric utility? Now this does a few things. One, it directly connects common to the utility so that we can get the correct information like customer address, usage, etc. for the customer's account without having any manual intervention. And once they click yes, they'll enter their login info to bypass the more manual process of entering address, phone number, etc. And this is the best method to sign people up. If the customer doesn't know or have their utility account number, we can still sign them up, but they won't receive a consolidated bill, and so this is worse for the customer and the company. This is an important screen in the flow, connecting their account number. Here we need their username and password to their utility. If they don't have an account, that is totally fine. Use the uh, Create an Account button below and take two minutes to set them up. It is very easy and, again, better for the customer and for common. Now, once they have the username and password, they click Next. The information is submitted. The customer will then see the following screen, which indicates we have the information needed to work with the utility. And the final step is to get payment information in order to complete the enrollment. Click Next. All right, so after the customer has connected their utility, they need to enter payment information. And there are three payment options. The top two are two ways to make a direct deduction from their bank account. These two are the best for the customer and for the company. And the third is via credit card. And let's touch on each one. Method A, automatic payments through ACH. This is the easiest and most straightforward option. The customer simply enters a checking or savings account as the payment method. But, uh, method B, automatic payments through BankLink. This is the exact same tool you use to set up PayPal or Venmo. Here the customer simply enters their login information for their bank choosing. There may be concern about this method since it directly links to their online account, but no two things. Just like Venmo, Common never receives this information. It is simply passed through to the bank to confirm it is accurate. Second, all the information entered is encrypted, and we use systems that are used by large corporations like American Express and other large financial institutions. Regardless, both of these methods are the best methods for the customer because they are the most secure, and there are also no fees to use this method. Finally, and most importantly, we give the customer an additional $25 in savings to choose this method.
Now the third method is via credit card. Here there's a fee charge for using a credit card, 2.9%. This means the customer will save 7.1% instead of 10%. So please try to discourage this option because it is better for the customer and better for Khan. All right, let's walk through method A and method B really quickly. So for method A, the customer will simply enter the relevant banking information in the corresponding boxes. We just need three things, the bank name, the rounding number, and account number, which are on any you know, check. In method B, the customer will choose the bank for their account and then enter the login information for that bank on the screen. Again, this information is not provided to common but passes securely to the bank to confirm credentials, just like with Venmo or Uber. Once the customer completes the sign-up process, they have finished the sign-up process, and now comes the best part. They will land in their own personal customer portal with a welcome message from Common Energy. This is the hub of the Common Energy experience and where they will see their savings, their impact, and their invoices. Initially, of course, this section will be blank because we need to pull their utility details, but they can still go through the different sections, which are awesome. And there's a project page where they will see the actual project that they are connected to. There's an impact page where they will see their savings and environmental impact and their invoices. And most importantly, the referral section. This is great. Here the customer can refer people via email or share an image and link on social media. You want to make sure you show this to the customer for two reasons. First, the customer can increase their savings by referring other people. Common has what we call a bilateral referral program. This means that when a customer refers someone else, they get $50 and the person they refer gets $50. We want the customers to refer as many people as possible. Second, and this, this is the best part, we will also pay you a commission for your customers' referrals. I'm not kidding. The commission structure for this is in the pay scale. Getting customers to refer is one of the best ways to increase both your impact and your paycheck, so make sure you tell the customers. All right, so finally, our values are where we started with, and this is where we will also end. Quality and integrity are critically important to Common. Uh, we help run state programs that interface with the public, and that is a big responsibility. And this is an incredible product. Everyone saves money and lowers emissions. Common makes a verification call to every customer who signs up. On that call, we ask about their experience and we verify key aspects of the program. We do that to make sure everyone knows how this works and things are properly represented. Okay, so let's go over a couple key points. Number one, the preferred method of connecting a customer's account is by logging in with their utility account info. <clears throat> this is important because we can pull all of the data related to the customer's account by this method. If we just enter the utility account number, we have to manually go into the account and pull that information. So it's a little bit more of a, of a manual process. So definitely encourage customers to log in with their utility account info. Number two, we should encourage customers to choose ACH so they get the full benefit of the contracted discount. If they don't choose ACH and choose the credit card option, there's a fee of 2.9% that's charged to the customer. So that reduces the overall 10% uh, discount that the customer would, would otherwise get. Number three, it's important to get the customer's utility account information in order to tell the utility which account to direct the clean energy credit to. Without that information, we simply can't convert the customer. Four, what's the point of getting the customer's payment information? To pay for the energy credit, and Common will pay for the utility on the customer's behalf. All right, if you follow the training and use the documents we send you after the test, you can be very successful with Common, helping people save and earning a lot for yourself along the way. And we are so happy to have you join us. So let's take the short exam and get you out there signing people up.